Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newkibio.com. Newkibio.com. There's our website, newkibio.com. So in this video, I'm going to focus on physical inventory worksheet in QuickBooks Online. Physical inventory worksheet in QuickBooks Online. So if you want to run that report or worksheet, so all you have to do is type inventory and uh, and you'll see physical inventory worksheet report here. So the report, this, by default, it looks like this, the product name, description, quantity, and physical count. So you basically uh, print this or export to uh, Excel or PDF or just send email. Uh, then someone will do actual count and, and put it in here. Then you need to uh, reconcile this to your uh, uh, your QuickBooks in here. To reconcile it, let's say this one you have, uh, you did physical count, 75, let's say you have 75, one, one uh, 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 higher or something, so somewhere you may see one less too, and uh, like these, you know, like you have negative, you know, an inventory should have negative, right? Nobody's going to give you this for uh, for free or anything. So, so it, it, whenever you see negative like this, so that means, you know, it's most likely you haven't entered all your purchases, you know, and you are just basically, uh, you know, creating invoices or you have, uh, uh, you haven't shipped everything, you know, all your product. So, so you got to figure out why it's negative, you shouldn't have negative in here, right? Okay, so that's why you need to do physical inventory. And once you have the physical count, then you come down here, plus sign, and you go to inventory count quantity adjustment. So this is where you will make uh, inventory uh, adjustment. There's a new count. You have quantity in here, and what's your new new uh, new quantity physical count now? Then just make a change in here, right? And then you have to decide where you want this adjustment to go to. You know, uh, it could be inventory cost of goods sold or something. So, so you know, you got to decide and make make it uh, you know be consistent. Just use that account. All the time when you do the physical inventory adjustment account you know uh, okay so you can add you can customize this a little bit uh, but this one looks pretty good you know uh, and uh, uh, so basically after you have all this you know then you run physical inventory report physical inventory valuation summary report and the total of that report it should match with your, in theory, should match with your uh, uh, balance sheet, uh, whatever you see on your balance sheet in here. Right now, uh, for this example, you're saying 533, but the physical uh, count detail valuation wise is showing 341. That's a huge difference. So that's why you need to do physical inventory uh, and uh, reconcile the difference between uh, this physical inventory valuation summary report and and you, what you see on your balance sheet like this number inventory right so the variation could come from uh, you know someone just directly uh, uh, wrote his own entry or something you know uh, to this account wrong classification so it could be uh, uh, you know a bunch of things so you got to reconcile that so that's the focus of this video. Thank you for watching this video and always visit our website. It's newqbo.com, newqbo.com. So you'll see all, all, all the uh, QBO uh, articles and uh, uh, great tips. Thank you.